So now these are my Saturday superlative running backs. And I'm going to start with Master Teague. Uh, once again, remember the all-name team, but also really, really showed you a little bit of everything. 26 carries, 167 yards, two touchdowns. He showed he understood also when he wasn't getting the ball in his hands that he understood blitz protection. He's, he's clearly a, a made-for-the-NFL type running back. He has a little bit of everything in his game. Power, balance, speed, hands. He's going to play. Uh, Jamar Jefferson. Jamar Jefferson. Uh, there's some good running backs in the Pac-12, and he might be the best of them. It's going to be interesting, but um, Verdell may have something to say about that. They have some good running backs, but 18 carries, 196 yards, two touchdowns, shifty, uh, really has great, great, great acceleration, sees, sees, like really, really sees angles well. I'll be kidding to watch him. Uh, Dimitri Felton, some people think he's a, you know, Pollard type, a J.D. McKissick, only better. I mean, one of those guys that could line up at wide receiver in the slot quite a bit, or he may be even outside, but plays a lot of running back as well. He had eight, um, sorry, 34 carries. So clearly he can play running back, but 34 carries, 167 yards, two touchdowns. And once again, he's also a guy that has great hands, can run routes. We'll see what happens to him. Uh, he's going to be headed to the Senior Bowl, and he'll probably get a chance to show some of everything. And I guess by law, uh, Muhammad Ibrahim has to show up every week. 25 carries, 102 yards, three touchdowns. Kind of a ho-hum game for him. Less than 40 carries, less than 30 even. You know, I guess they decided to lighten his load. But he's a, a meat and potatoes between the tackles, old school running back, and there's a place for him, even in the modern NFL. Uh, Brees Hall, another guy who's here most weeks at uh, from Iowa State. 15 carries. 135 yards, two touchdowns. Once again, sort of a whole home game for him, but he showed some of everything. Patience, vision, burst, power, balance. Uh, what do you like? Spin moves. He's got all that good stuff. He's... I mean, because of the way the running back position is now evaluated, he might not go in the first round. He'll probably go in the second, maybe even the early third. Who knows, depending on how he tests. But he's going to be... He's going to be in the NFL, and... I mean, if Devin Singletary is a guy that people can get excited about, he's everything Singletary was, but more. Bigger, stronger, faster, right? So if you can get excited about Devin Singletary, you should be over the moon about Brees Hall. Um, I can't believe I'm about to mention not one, but two University of Illinois running backs. University of Illinois, I-L-L, right? I-N-I. Two U of I running backs. Mind-boggling. Um it's a combination of Nebraska, obviously, not knowing how to fit up the run game. But also, these guys did play well. Uh, Chase Brown had 26 carries for 110 yards, a couple of touchdowns, and showed you just, you know, once again, uh, toughness and, and balance and, you know, a little bit of wiggle. And then Mike Epstein. Once again, don't be fooled by the name, people. He's got some go. Uh, 13 carries for 113 yards and a touchdown. And... I mean, both guys showed you things, but Epstein is the one that probably has a little more juice, at least looked like to me. Uh, Alonzo Booth. Uh, now, obviously, Eastern Kentucky is a, a program that not many people are watching, but I've been watching them every time I get a chance because th their offense is just fun anyway. But 27 carries, 178 yards, and uh, three touchdowns. And once again, he's not a, a fancy runner, but he's an effective runner. If you haven't watched Eastern Kentucky... ESPN3 is there for a reason, people. Check it out. And then here's a kid. I know all the attention's going to the quarterback, Zach Wilson, but BYU has a running back who was a walk-on linebacker at one point. How, how this happens? Well, but this guy is a heck of a running back. Uh, Tyler Algier, 13 carries. I know, obviously, it's lower-level competition, UNA, but 13 carries, 141 yards, two touchdowns. But watch him even against the best teams they face. He's going to show up. Uh, those are my running back superlatives for this past Saturday and the week prior.